Venus is a cat from Florida whose looks are simply out of this world. When someone posted a picture of Venus online, she became an internet sensation. So I did make a video on YouTube to prove that she was real. It went very viral. Venus and her owner even landed on network television. We put the pictures up, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. gone viral. It's, and obviously, yeah. there are there are skeptics out there who <laughs> so think she painted you painted her face. Or we've heard everything something from else. Photoshop to that we've dyed her face. There were lots of people copying the video. At that point, I knew I should probably find a copyright attorney. People could use that, that picture, that video, that poem, in any way that they please worldwide. Christina, who does not want her last name used, called Fort Lauderdale intellectual property attorney Nancy Flint. Intellectual property are creations of your mind. They're ideas, they're your inventions, they're your trademarks, they're your paintings, your songs. Or the photos and videos you create and post online. And once you create that photo, poem, or any original product, you hold the copyright. And you will hold it until 70 years after your death. But there's a big catch. The United States government cannot enforce any of those rights unless you register your copyright. The owner is the copyright police. The copyright registration process is fairly simple. Just log on to the government website, copyright.gov. List the copyrighted work, fill out the forms, and pay the $35 fee. Registering can become complicated when you have a lot of work to register, such as a large amount of photographs or paintings. That's when you need an intellectual property attorney. If you do it wrong, the problem is if you do it wrong at the beginning, you often have a false sense of security that you did it correctly. On the back end, then you try to enforce your rights and all of a sudden you found out you did it wrong. Christina wants to use Venus's copyrighted image to sell products. She says the money she earns will fund animal rescue groups. Between the, the registered copyrights and the registered trademarks, she can stop people from using her cat's image in a way that she doesn't approve. This is my, my pet, part of my family, which is the biggest reason um, I really wanted her protected. Most of us will never have anything go viral like Chris's photos of Venus. But remember, if you put family snapshots on a public site, register them first or anyone can use them. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Amber Statler Matthews reporting for the Lawyers.com channel.